Hallelujah. It's good to know how to have wisdom and knowledge in the house of God, isn't it? Hallelujah. Second Kings, the third chapter. The third chapter in the 11th verse, it reads like this. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord that we may inquire by him? And one of the kings of Israel's servants answered and said, Here is Elisha, the son of Sophat, which poured water on the hands of Elijah. And Jehoshaphat said, The word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. And Elisha said unto the king of Israel, What have I to do with thee? Give thee to the prophets of thy father and to the prophets of thy mother. And the king of Israel said unto him, Nay, for the Lord hath called these three kings together to deliver them into the hand of Moabite. And Elisha said, As the Lord of hosts liveth before whom I stand, surely were it not that I regarded the presence of Jehoshaphat, the king of Judea, I would not look toward thee nor see thee. But now bring me a minstrel, and it come to pass that when the minstrel played, that the hand of the Lord come upon him. Amen. Is there anybody in the house of God? Amen. Will you bow your head as we go to the Lord in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for another opportunity to be in your house. We thank you for your word, for your anointing, and for your power. We thank you, Lord, that we are begotten by the word and we're kept by the power. Lord, this morning, I'm asking that you would hide me under the blood of Jesus and let the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Lord, just come down into this church service so somebody can be delivered and be set free. I give you the praise and I give you the glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If there's any young workers in the word, let them come on up here this morning and, and help me out a little bit. And if somebody can get on this piano and help me out just a little bit. I, I believe here when we begin to look at the word of the Lord, amen, that there was a situation that began to take place and they said, is there a prophet, amen, in the land? And they begin to think about is there somebody that we can go to and have confidence in? Is there somebody that we can go to and we know that they get a hold of the Lord? Can you say amen to me? And I, I, I begin to think about how that they begin to, to inquire and say, is there anybody in the land that can get a hold of God? And I wonder today if we begin to think in our heart and in our mind and we begin to search around us, is there anybody we know that is trying to get a hold of God? Is there anybody uh, that has chose to set aside uh, the things of the world and said, uh, let me just get a hold of God? Amen. Um, I believe that those that seek the Lord uh, shall find him. And, and to those that knock, uh, it shall be open unto him. Uh, I believe that after a while, uh, amen, that there's going to come a time in the land uh, where people are going to be looking and they're going to be looking for something uh, that they can't buy with sin silver uh, that they can't buy with gold, uh, but they're going to be looking for something uh, that can only come down from God uh, out of heaven. Can you say amen? Just bear with me for a little while. Uh, it may not be the kind of preaching you're used to, but that's all right. Let God be God. Uh, but I believe that when trouble came uh, and they knew that the enemy was upon them uh, and they knew that they needed some help, uh, there's an old song that says, uh, where can I go but to the Lord? Amen. Are you with me so far? Uh, so when everything else failed, they looked around and they said there's still somebody in the land that knows how to get a hold of God. Amen. And, and you know what? If you're going to have a reputation of anything in your life, it would be good that somebody could point a finger at you and say one thing I know for sure is they know how to get a hold of God. Can you say man, Just bear with me for a little while. Look over at somebody and say it pays to get a hold of God. It pays to get a hold of God. Amen. Somebody's going to have to help me out this morning. I tell you, you're a quiet bunch of people this morning. But that's all right. The Holy Ghost within me hasn't drifted away. It's still locked in me like fire inside my bones. And if I have to preach to myself this morning, I can preach to myself. 
yourself. But after a while, people are going to go to and they're going to go throw seeking for an answer. They're going to be looking here and they're going to be looking there. You may not believe it, but we live in a world that's turning every which way it can. And we can tell by the signs of the time that the coming of the Lord could be nigh at hand. Can you say amen to me? But I want to let you know something this morning. How can we hear without a preacher? And how can they preach lest they be sent? Are you with me so far? Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 I wish somebody in the church this morning, uh, hallelujah, would say, uh, I need to find something uh, that's real. I need to find something that's real. I need to find something that's real. I need to find something uh, that's more than just words. I need to find something uh, that will do when the world's on fire. I need to find something uh, I can have some confidence in. I need to find something uh, that's not one way today uh, in another way tomorrow. I need to find something, amen, that can set the drug addict free. I need to find something that can release the demonic forces of alcoholism. I need to find something that is serious about doing a work for God. I need to find something that's out there in the world trying to pull the lost souls in before it's eternally too late. I need to find something that was spoken of by the prophet Joel, saying in the last days, I pour my spirit out upon all flesh. We need to find something that can rescue our sons and our daughters before it's too late. I may have to look. I may have to look. And I may have to ask. I may have to cry out. I may have to search. And I may have to seek. And I know that there's many things going on in the world today. And I know that there's many churches. And I know that there's many people. But let me tell you something. When you're in trouble, not just anything's going to do. But you know what you'll do? you begin to inquire. They inquired and said, is there anybody in here? that still uh, gets a hold uh, of God? Is there anybody uh, that still believes, uh, amen, and still gets a hold uh, of God? I'm not talking about uh, get a tingle in your toe, uh, in a little skip, uh, in a little hop. I'm not talking about somebody uh, that says, well, I've got it, uh, and they're in today, uh, and out tomorrow. I don't believe in a lot of that. Oh, come on. Just look at me uh, and shake your head uh, if you want to, uh, but I when you get the real thing, you'll get your feet pounded upon the solid rock of Christ Jesus. Amen. Can you say that to me? I believe it'll keep you. It'll hold you. It'll keep you when the storms come your way. Although they didn't have the real thing, they were looking. They were looking. They were looking for something. They were looking for something. Come on, you may not believe me, but the world is looking. Come on. I said the world is looking. The world is looking for something. The world is looking for something. Oh, come on, the church isn't with me this morning. I said the world is looking for something. Huh? The world is looking for something. Everywhere you go, people are looking. Oh, they're looking. And they're looking. And they're looking. And they're looking every way they can. They're looking. They're looking. Now, oh, come on, amen. Your sons and your daughters are looking for something. They're looking for something. They're, they're, they're hungry. And they're looking for something. And you say, how come they won't find it in the church house? Let me tell you, how come they won't find it in the church house? We're neither hot no, we're cold, but the church stands lukewarm, and there's no wisdom in the house of God, and there's no respect for a move of 